Welcome to yoga. Today, you're going to take your blanket if you have it, blocks, straps, any other props that make you feel comfortable. We'll start seated. So just go ahead and have a seat, maybe sitting up elevated with a blanket or a prop underneath you for a little bit of lift of the sit bones, letting the shoulders relax back and down a couple of times. So just lift them up, roll them back, let them drop. Inhale, lift, exhale down. And take one more circle, lifting, inhale, exhale, lowering down. Let the shoulders just settle down into the girdle and fingertips reaching out to the sides as you let your head fall over to one side and then back to center, over to the other side. Continue here, you could close your eyes just to bring awareness inward. Continuing to move gently through the neck, side to side with every breath. Notice if you're holding tension around the neck, tension through the shoulders and just try to relax into those spaces. And as you're allowing your head to continue to move slowly, if your eyes are closed, especially here, you might then also notice if you are leaning forward, if you're kind of pulling your shoulders forward to the front of the body and then let them drop down and sit back just a little bit like you're leaning into a wall. We'll take two more, one to each side. As you come back into center, crown of the head toward the sky and turning and looking over one shoulder. And then to the other side. We'll do that one more time, each side, just slowly turning, keeping the shoulders drawn back. Again, as though they're just anchored into the wall behind you. And then again, come back to center here. We'll sweep the arms up. As you reach up overhead, let the hands meet at center, fingers interlacing, and then flip the palms up toward the sky. As you're reaching toward the sky, draw the rib cage down, and that may allow your arms to come forward a little, that's okay. And then readjust your shoulders by dropping your shoulders down. And so we create space around the neck, and then reaching up and over to one side, Try to lean from the waist, not just your arms. So back to center and over to the other side. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, gently reaching over. You're pushing out through the palms, flipping up to the sky. One more time. And then bringing the hands forward, reaching the palms as though you're pushing into a wall in front of you with your hands and then pushing to the wall behind you with your shoulders or between your shoulder blades. So a little bit of a rounding, but not so much in the pelvis. Okay, so just push between the shoulder blades and push forward with the hands. Create space in front of you as though you're hollowing out through the chest, but still keeping your pelvis in neutral. Okay, one more breath, exhale out. We'll come back to center. And then just lift through the chest, arms going out to the sides, push out through the palms, and then flip the hands down. So notice your fingers, not just curling your fingers in, but just reaching your fingertips to the floor, and then reach your fingertips to the sky. Relax the shoulders. They like to creep up there a little, so just try to relax down, ribs down, just moving from the wrist, fingertips down, fingertips up, one more each direction and up and then circle through the wrist, relaxing in the shoulders still or around the neck. Obviously our shoulders are working a little to hold our arms up. We want to relax around the neck and then reverse. So kind of relaxing in the levators and that upper trap space that's up around the top of the neck area, or upper back. Come back to center and then just bring the hands down to the knees. Moving into seated cat cow, moving the chest forward. Exhale and rounding back. Inhale, rocking forward. Let your tail rise behind you a bit and then exhale, 
rounding back. So just basically like you would if you were on your hands and knees, we're moving forward and then pulling back. Three more, inhale, exhale out, rounding. And two. Last one. Moving back to center. And we'll take the left hand, crossing it over to the right leg. So maybe to the knee or the thigh, or even just right in front on the shin is fine. Just decide where it feels best for you. And then rotating, pulling yourself around gently, keeping your hips level. Just let your sit bones stay heavy, moving through the waist, taking two more rounds of breath. Seated tall, inhale, gently kind of leaning back a little bit even, and then rotating. Now come back around, take a deep breath in, exhale, switching sides. Take a pause, lifting tall. If you notice that you're leaning into that side, I want you just to pull back and align yourself over your tailbone. Taking one more breath here. Coming back to center. Then we'll just take a little forward fold. So over your legs, folding forward, reaching to the front. You could take blocks here if you feel like you're kind of feeling a little immobile through your hips today or a little tension through the hips or low back. You don't come quite as far forward. We come up. We'll switch whichever leg is on top or in front. So just switching your legs, sitting tall. We'll move back through that twist. So turning to one side. So our leg position plays a part in our low back, so how our low back responds to our movements. So whichever leg was in front, okay, that's gonna play a part on how you're finding load into your low back space, and especially in this twist. Come back to center, and then walking forward again. And then maybe whichever leg is in front here, you're going to possibly feel that stretch a little more on that side, depending on how you're seated. And then we'll come back up, take the fingertips behind you and just lift through the chest, then dropping your tail to the floor and dropping your rib cage down. So trying not to over arch like you're really lifting up. You just want to pull the shoulder blades back and releasing. And just shake the head out. Just find some gentle movements a little bit, kind of wiggling everything out. We'll take blocks and you can take those toward whatever end is the top of your mat now. And we'll take ourselves into a tabletop position. So into hands and knees, feel free to take your blanket if you want that blanket under your knees, depending on the surface that you're on. So from your tabletop, hands underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath the knees. Now just moving through a basic cat-cow, letting your chest lock, or lift up, your belly fall, tail rise. Exhale, rounding out, hollowing. Inhale, moving the chest forward. Exhale, rounding, hollowing, lifting. Two more here. Again, do a mental scan all the way from your fingertips up your arms, your elbows are soft, your fingers are wide. Get down through your feet even, or your tops of your feet pressing to the floor, relax the space around your ankles and try to press into that space as well. Just last one here, inhale down, exhale lift. And then back to center. So just shifting your hips side to side, bring your knees close together first, and we'll let the hips drop over to one side, almost like you were gonna try to sit on the floor and come back to center. Put a little bit of top to the tail. So just a tiny little lift there in your lower back, and then shifting over to the other side. Come back to center, same thing. Readjust, shift. You could look back towards your feet. Inhale, center, getting a stretch on the outside of the thigh, through the glutes, through the hip flexors, even, and over to the other side. 
Last one here. And then moving back to center. Take that left leg. We'll take it up behind and then just start to draw a circle. So circling that left knee as though you're just drawing one big circle, continuous movement with your knee. So if you had a marker at the end of your knee, you could draw a big circle with it, trying not to lean too far into your right side. You could even elevate your left hand onto your block if you'd like. We're gonna switch the direction. So just reversing, find the right movement for you. So it may be big, it may be small, generally not too fast. Take one more. And then go ahead and pause. We'll take that left leg up again. Just reach up to the sky this time with your foot. Pull up through the center of your body and then draw your knee towards your nose, hollowing out. Inhale, lifting up. Your gaze is slightly ahead, trying not to drop into your belly. So we're trying not to just rest down toward the floor. I want you to lift it up and then hollow out. Continue with that action. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Last time here. And then we'll bring the foot all the way forward. So just finding however, so if you get kind of stuck along the way, just maybe help it with your hands. We'll adjust as needed. And then with your blocks or your fingertips to the floor, just lifting through the chest, making sure your tail stays slightly down and then shifting back into a little stretch there for the hamstrings. I'm just doing a little half split here. Always walk your blocks back with you if you feel like you're rounding in your upper body. Okay. Inhale, gently moving forward. You can just keep your blocks back so that they're really more under your hands and they can always be whatever level is most appropriate for you. So just finding what works for you. Continue to move there. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, shifting back. And two more here. Inhale. Exhale, just move fluid like water in and out. As we move into this next lunge, staying down in your low lunge, I'm gonna flip my block so it's on a higher level here over on the, my right side. And then starting to just gently move that left knee out over onto the pinky toe side of the foot and then coming back. So I'm turning my whole body just a bit rotating inhale and exhale and if it still feels like you need to be lifted higher than this one block you could always stack your blocks to find more elevation so i want you to stay lifted pretty tall here notice that every time i rotate it's almost like a corkscrew kind of come up a little more over this back knee and then dropping back down so we'll do that two more open up Bring it down, so just in case, so when we get to the other side, I'm gonna look backwards here, but I want you to see it from this angle. So I'm kind of rotating, you're gonna maybe feel that down in the opposite leg as well. So let's come back to center. Go ahead and separate your blocks, move them back out of the way for a moment, and stepping that left foot back. Take a little child's pose, stretching all the way back, and then coming back up, inhale, We'll pause back into your tabletop position. So taking your right leg and lifting it up, we'll start to draw that same circle on the right side. Feel free to take a block under your right hand. If you feel a little imbalanced, you feel like you should be higher or maybe both blocks under your hands. Always listen to your own body first. My instruction. Second, just trying to keep you safe though. So just listening to the cues and finding how it feels in your body. So let's move that circle in the opposite direction. Inhale, lifting, exhale, bring it out. Let's take three more rotations of that leg or that hip. And last one, back to center. We bring it up behind, pull up through your core. Exhale, rounding out, hollowing out. And inhale, taking it back. Reach, exhale, rounding and hollowing. 
Inhale, gaze is slightly forward, relax around the neck. Push the floor away, draw the knee up. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one. We're gonna send that right leg forward all the way up to the top of the mat. Once you have found your space here, your knee right over your heel. You can take your blocks again, make adjustments on the back knee if you're kind of at this little 90 degree position. We're gonna move that knee back as well. So inhale, lifting up, dropping your tail a little bit, pulling up through the pelvis, and then exhale, pressing back. Pull your toes back towards your head. So I'm gonna move the blocks a little bit further back so that just my hands can rest here right of, in line with my shoulders in that lunge. And then there's really not much more movement to be done except for to move back and forth. So inhale, lifting, sinking the hips down. Exhale, pulling back. Let's try three. Inhale, gently moving forward. Exhale, pulling back. And two. So moving with your breath. Last one. And we will find that low lunge again. So from here, pausing, I'm going to elevate this a little more support under the left hand, and then just rocking that right knee out to the side and then rotating with the body. So I'm gonna rotate with it, kind of look over the right and then coming back. Like I said, kind of like a corkscrew, I'll switch sides so you can see. So rotating out, rotate the body. It's like your whole body's gonna twist with you. Inhale, just rocking onto the pinky toe side but make sure, take a look at your ankle. There's no slack in the ankle. So there's no wrinkles in that ankle. You're keeping the ankle very straight and you're just moving from the hip, rotating knee out, rotating your whole body, come back. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last time here, inhale and exhale. Very nice. Take a little pause and then we'll shift those blocks off to the side again, stepping back, finding your child's pose and resting in child's pose for just a moment. So take the knees pretty wide if that feels okay for you with your big toes together and bringing more space through the pelvis here. Take two more full deep breaths in, exhaling slowly out. So from this big wide child's pose, I want you just to walk your hands back so our knees are out. Ideally, we don't have too much pressure in our knees because they are out rather than in the middle. And I want you to send your right leg out to the side. I'm just gonna slide over and send that right leg out to the side, pushing up through the toes, the heels on the floor. So my knee, left knee never moved. Okay. If that is uncomfortable for you, find a space that you could stay maybe with a blanket, either underneath your leg or behind your knee. So you can sit up, maybe wedge a blanket behind there, giving yourself more space under the, under the knee or behind the knee. Okay, so you can find a space that works right for you, possibly even just adding more space with that blanket to fold up to sit on even. Okay, so find a spot that feels right, even though you can, even if you could go all the way down into it, if you elevate your hips, you might even find more stretch. So just play with it for a moment. Okay, so that right leg is out, left knee is still bent at an angle out to the side. So I'll turn a little, I'm going to, there we go. Okay, now just coming forward. We're going to come forward and I want you to rotate the toes toward the, the same direction as your head. And now rotate them back up to the sky. And rotate in, rotate out. So your whole leg is moving, not just your foot. Okay, the whole leg, your knee, your toes, everything. If you feel like you should put a little more bend in that leg, go, so, go ahead and do so. Sometimes I hyperextend on that knee, so I need to make sure that I'm going to put a little bit of slack behind the knee. Let's do two more. 
Exhale. If the angle's too wide, just shorten it. It's okay, bring it up a little higher. Just do the best you can here. And then we're coming back to center. Walk it up. We'll send that right foot underneath. So just like you did for your big wide child's pose, I'm gonna switch directions just to see better. Okay, so you're still gonna be in that big wide child's pose. You can stay exactly where you are. I just need to move for space reasons <laughs> and for you to see. All right, so we're in this big space. I'm gonna send the left leg out. So just lean over to the right a little, send your left leg out at whatever angle is appropriate for you. So meaning it does not have to go straight out from your hip. It can be more of a V type of an angle. And again, place your blanket or any props, a pillow or something. You can always place it behind the leg. You don't have to use it at all, but I'm kind of liking how that feels. So I'm just gonna elevate a little bit more. So walking forward as much as you can, hands or elbows could be on blocks or you could be lifted quite high. Okay, so this is all about how it feels in your body. So you're gonna rotate so that the toes point kind of the same direction as your head and then back up, meaning the crown of your head. So if you're forward this way, so I want you to just rotate into the top of wherever your mat is and then back up to the sky. So internal, external, internal, external. Let's do it three more. Two. Once again, if you're elevated, you're almost seated all the way upright, that's okay. It's really about how it feels, again, always about how it feels for you. Let's come back to center. Walk it up. Bring that leg back underneath you. You can remove the props if you have them here. I'm just gonna set it down beside me. Sit back, shift the arms out. Come all the way back up, turning toes under and pressing back into down dog. Just pedal out through the feet. Shifting your hips. Now from down dog, it's like you're doing little windshield wipers with your feet. So we're just gonna rotate on the feet, shifting your hips side to side. So just try to shift over to the inside and outside of each foot. You can pick them up and do this. You don't have to roll over your toes. Whatever feels right, whatever feels better for you. Let's take it back to center and then bring the knees down. So as we come back, we're gonna have a seat here. So finding a little, what I usually refer to as a Z sit, it's kind of like the letter Z, <laughs> sort of. All right, so I'm gonna take uh, mirroring you, left leg far, front and right leg back. If you're finding discomfort of your knees or any joint here, you may like to take, take that blanket or any prop that you have nearby and elevate under your sit bones again. And this will take some pressure off. So we're sitting nice and tall. And with your left hand, I want you to press just on the top of the inside here of your knee. So as you start to push your left knee up, I want you to take a deep breath first. And then exhale, push into that leg as you're trying to pull the, or push the knee up. Okay, so use the intention of your muscles here to help push into your hand, but you're pushing back with your hand. Okay, so continue, deep breath, hold it up. Try not to lean back, exhale a little bit more. And now just take your hand to the underside and push it down. So it's like you're pulling on it, but you're pushing down as you drop the knee to the floor. The hand is working in opposition. So we'll do that again. Inhale, start to lift it up, push back into it with your hand. Deep breath. And now exhale. Try to drop it to the floor, but it's as though you're trying to pull it back with your hand. Always working in opposition here. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, dropping down. Good. So from here, finding a space that you can gently rock forward. You could always place blocks under your hands. And then we'll just gently rock back. Inhale, coming forward, and exhale, shifting back. Let's do that two more times. 
Rocking forward, try to move from your hips, not your spine. Meaning if you're rounding and you're breaking this canister here in the middle of your body, okay, one, we're kind of breaking that connection with our diaphragm to the pelvic floor, but we're also breaking a connection that's moving from the hips. So this is our intention is moving in the hips. We're gonna come back up to seated. Now take your bottom leg or the outside leg, the right leg, if you're mirroring me, bring it forward. And then we'll place this left leg over the top. As you lean back just a bit, and I'll turn. And so as you lean back a little, we're gonna bring that foot up and just sit up nice and tall into a seated figure four. So hands can pull back behind you on your fingertips or on blocks. We're gonna lift the chest, so being mindful that we're not rounding. So we're keeping all that integrity through the spine, through the chest, lifting slightly, your hips are heavy. Try to rock that knee out away from you, foot is flexed. One more deep breath and then exhale it out. We will come back, lean back, reach the leg out. Now just continue by crossing the leg the rest of the way over. We still have that left leg on top. We're pushing out through the bottom foot and gently rocking forward again. We're just gonna do that about four times. We don't have to stay, we're just going to move in and out. A little dynamic movement, two more. Exhale. Now, last one. Inhale up. Exhale, trying to rock from the hips once again. Keep that canister around the midsection. And then we're going to swap. So take the legs out, bring the right leg in, left leg back. So if you have that prop, you might have to make adjustments. Find what's working for you. If this internal rotation of this back leg or this leg that's bent back does not feel right, just straighten it out. Always listen to what's happening in your own body. And so one side may be different than another. You could even elevate the sit bone that you that you're have forward. So your right leg is forward. I'm gonna elevate that sit bone just a little more and it's gonna give you more space on this side. All right, so pushing into your hand as you try to lift the knee. So let's take a breath in. And without leaning back, I want you just to try to lift that up and push into it. Take a big deep breath in. And now exhale, like you're gonna keep pulling it towards you, but now push it down. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, pushing it up. And then exhale, resist as you push down. And then make any adjustments there. Okay, so let's do two more. Inhale, pushing up. And then exhale, down. One more time, inhale. Keeping your core strong, exhale. Find that whole body connection. Bring it down, good. All right, so walking the hands forward, gently moving forward, and then back up. Once again, just try to keep this canister connection. So that just means exactly what it sounds like. If you had a, a canister uh, of anything, so a canister of beans, a canister of anything, something's in a canister, it means it's solid. It's, still a, it's like a cylinder and it's solid, but we don't break the canister. This is our canister. All right, let's do that two more. Forward and back. One more, and forward, and then back. Now, as you shift back just slightly, go ahead and bring that bottom leg or back leg to the front. We'll cross the right leg over, and then leaning back, bending that knee. Oops. So bending the bottom knee just a bit and pulling the heel in towards you. And now, so if you found yourself sort of in this rounded position, just bend your elbows a little, see if you can lift your chest and just bring your legs and your chest closer together. Foot is flexed, inhale. You may not be quite as close as I am and that's okay. If you have a wall behind you, like I do, you could even lean up against the wall this way and just let that bottom leg come in. And let yourself just rest here for a moment, a little more supported. So you can find a variety of ways to do the same posture, just with different support. Let's take two more rounds of breath. 
And then with that last breath, we're gonna shoot the leg out. Continue crossing that leg over. So right leg on top, just kind of crossed over above the knee. You can bring your heel in and then exhale, rocking forward again. I know that could be quite intense if you want blocks to elevate your hands or just resting your hand on your thighs. It's an option, but once again, continue to try to keep your canister solid here. We've got two more. And last one, pushing through the foot. And back up to center. Very nice. And just release it. So shoot the legs out. Give them a little shake. We'll do one big forward bend here. So Pashimottanasana, that seated forward bend, like you're stepping on the earth with your feet, push out through the heels, through the big toes even. And then sweeping the arms up, deep breath. Exhale, bring your hands to center first and then start to gently fold forward. You can reach down by the feet, but once again, use your blocks if needed. And I like to stay elevated with my sit bones and I'm coming forward, keeping the canister. So it's not that. So if it's just a, a few degrees forward, fine, okay? If you're all the way down to here, you're going to round some, but that chest needs to come to the thighs first. Okay, so finding your canister, keep it engaged. Let's take two more rounds of breath. And then coming back up. If you've not already turned yourself on your mat, go ahead and turn onto your mat. We'll roll all the way back. So rolling back into the mat, bring knees to chest, rocking side to side. As you shoot your left leg down the mat, right knee into chest, and then rotating. So the right knee crosses over the left side and just hold it there for a moment. Right shoulder is heavy, resting toward the mat. Chest is open. And back to center. Reposition yourself. If you got a little out of, out of center there and shoot that right leg down the mat, Exhale, crossing left to right. Get back to center. Let's bring the feet to the mat. Just gentle dynamic bridge. So feet are parallel, arms by your sides. Inhale, start to lift the hips up and sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale down. Two more with your breath. Last one here. As you release, take a moment. Let the spine rest on the mat, palms face up out to the sides and bring your feet together. Let your knees drop open. If that feels discomforting to you or your hips, just let your legs go out straight. Otherwise, we can remain here in our Supta Baddha Konasana, our bound angle reclining. Take a moment, let the shoulders relax, close your eyes. Send your thoughts, your awareness, your breath into the pelvic space. And just start to feel the openness that you've created, the mobility. Breathing in through this pelvic belly space. As you find your next breath, go ahead and wiggle the fingers, the toes. You can bring your feet back to the mat, your knees together, and then just rolling to one side. As you begin to press yourself up, moving back into seated. And as we find that seated position together, let's take just a moment here, sweeping the arms up. Going back to where you started, flipping your palms up to the sky, reaching over with an exhale, 
Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. And then just bring the palms back together and slide them right down to the heart center. Take a moment, honoring your own inner wisdom, bowing your own inner teacher and the voice that got you here this morning. So thank you so much for showing up for you, continuing to show up for others and letting me share with you as well. Namaste.